Okay, so we're going to continue with graphing today, and we've already we've already looked at slope-intercept form. We've already looked at standard form. We know how to graph those. Um, let's look at some special graphs today that kind of give students some some trouble. Um, again, let me give you just a, a normal, real nice slope-intercept form equation. Okay, y equals one half x minus two. We know the y-intercept is negative two down two on the y-axis, and then we're going to go, our slope is one-half, so we're going to go up one over two, up one over two, and that's our line, and that's no problem. We got that easy, but if you're looking at this and you're looking at those equations on the top, you're like, those equations look different. They're just not the same. Um, for one thing, they don't have an X or a Y in some of them. There's only one letter. So how are we going to graph these? Well, first of all, if you recognize that there's only an X or only a Y, you, you got the first step down, okay? You, you notice that there's, you, you notice something very important. Now, if there's only an X or only a Y in an equation, our graph is going to look like one of two things. It's either going to be a vertical line like this, or it's going to be a horizontal line like this, okay? There's never going to be an angle in it, okay? Either a vertical line or a horizontal line. So let's see what it is. Okay, so the first one is y equals 5. Well, let's just go to a spot where y is equal to 5. Like, go up 5 on the y-axis. Okay. Um, show me another point where y equals 5. So that, that point that we just graphed, that's the point 0, 5, right? My x is 0, my y is 5, I went over 0, up 5. Show me another place where y is equal to 5. Well, what if my x is 1? If my x is 1, my y is still going to be 5. What if my x is 7? Well, my y is still going to be 5. What if my x is negative 6? My y is still going to be 5. And so to graph the line y equals 5, it's just a horizontal line right there, okay? Let's graph the line x equals 4. So let's go over some place where x equals 4, like maybe 4 on the x-axis. So go to the point 4, 0. x is 4, y is 0. Let's try another one. x is 4, y is 2. x is 4, y is 2. x is 4, y is 4. Right there or that was y is 5, but what we're going to see is this. This is the equation x equals 4. This is the equation y equals 5. So again, if there's only an x or only a y, it's either going to be vertical or a horizontal graph. Okay, let's look at this last one, y equals negative 2. Let's go to negative 2 on the y-axis. Think about all the places where y is negative 2. y is negative 2 here and here and here. This is the equation right there. That's the graph of y equals negative 2. All right, now sometimes it, it's difficult to, to remember which way. Is it going to be a vertical line or a horizontal line? Sometimes that's difficult. Now, just in general, okay, this is this is a 90% rule, okay, so in general, we're not going to draw a line on the axis right here. So in general, if we're putting, if we start right there at x equals negative 7, we're not going to make a line across on those y-axis, okay, so don't draw those on the y-axis. It is possible, w what that would be, this line right here, that's line x equals 0. The, the line right here, that's the line y equals 0. Okay, but those are just, those are pretty special, pretty rare. Not going to see those too often. Um, so just in general, no, you're not going to be drawing that line across the axis like that. All right, let's look at this next one. Okay, so what do you notice about this equation right here, y equals x? Well, there is an x and a y, okay? If there's an, and if there's an x and a y, there's going to be some kind of slant to this, okay? So, well, let's see. A couple different ways that we could tackle this equation. Let's, let's start by making an xy table, because remember, we can make, we can use a table to graph anything, 
anything. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Let's graph that. So if x is negative 2, negative 2 is x, well, it shows us right there y is going to be negative 2. Okay? If we put negative 1 in for x, negative 1, well, then y is just going to be equal to negative 1. And you can see what's happening here. If x is 0, y is 0. If x is 1, y is 1. If x is 2, y is 2. So let's graph the point negative 2, negative 2. That's going to be right there. And then negative 1, negative 1. 0, 0. 1, 1. And 2, 2. And you can see now what's happening. It's going to just go just like this. That's the equation y equals x, all right? This is, this is a, a tricky graph. A lot of times people forget how to do it, but this is one that's really important to recognize. That we should just recognize this. Anytime we see that graph drawn, we should just know, yeah, that's y equals x. Now, could we have done this with our, with our rules with slope-intercept form? Well, it's, it's tricky, but there's some, there's some numbers hiding here. Because usually we're used to seeing something like this, y equals 7x minus 3, right? Like that's what we're used to seeing. But we don't have a number out here. We don't have the y-intercept. So up here back in this equation, right here, there's no number there. So if there's no number there, what number is it? Well, nothing is just 0. So that would be like a plus 0. Okay, same thing. We're used to seeing like a 7 in front of the x down there. What number's in front of our x in this equation? If it's just an x, we know this. If it's just a variable, there's always a 1 in front of it. So that equation, y equals x, is really the same thing as y equals 1x plus 0. y equals x is the same thing as y equals 1x plus 0. So how would we graph that? I'll do it in red just so you can see. Well, our y-intercept is 0. Our slope is 1, so we go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and you can see that it's the exact same line. Okay? Now I'm going to do the next one in, let's do green for something different. So y equals negative x. Let's think about this the same way if it was slope-intercept form. What number's out here that's not really there? That's going to be a plus 0. What number's in front of the x? Well, that's a negative 1. So really what we have here is y equals negative 1x plus 0. That's what this equation is really saying. y equals negative 1x plus 0. So we're going to start at 0 and then go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. And you'll see that this line not perfect, but pretty close. That green line is the line y equals negative x. So the, the blue and red, that's y equals x. And the, uh, the green, that one is y equals negative x. Okay? So two pretty common equations. Let's see. Let's do a couple more. Okay. Real, real quick review. 30 seconds on this slide. Tops. Okay? Y equals x. I remember that. That's y equals 1x plus 0. Starting at 0, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. That's the line, y equals x. Okay. What about x equals negative 5? I remember these. If there's only an x or y, it's going to be vertical or horizontal. So let's go to x equals negative 5, negative 5 on the x-axis. All right, where else is x negative 5? Well, it's negative 5 here. This is negative 5. That's negative 5 for the x value. This is the line y equals x. I'm sorry, x equals negative 5. This was the line y equals x. How about the last one, y equals negative x? Well, I remember that. That's negative 1x plus 0. So we're going to start there at 0 again and go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. And whoops, that disappeared in a hurry. And this is our line for y. Whoops. Well, that got negative. I was trying to do it in 30 seconds, and I got sloppy. But that's, that's what it looks like, okay? So 
Um, I know we, we covered a lot really fast. If you need to watch these again, watch them again. But remember, if there's only an X or only a Y, it's either going to be a vertical line or a horizontal line. And if you just get Y equals X, that's right here. Just nice and even and steady going up. And if it's Y equals negative X, it's right here. Just nice and easy going down. All right? I know you got this. Good luck.